All right, we're going to do star 1800 through 2024, Algebra 1, Part 1, by Professor Phil Galvedis, Jr., 0531.23. Find the population of New York City in 1800. Wait, let's say right now you need college money. Let's say you do. If you do need it, open 24 hours, mile margin, Mexican cafe, great boss, great food, great work. They're open right now. You need lots of this money. Work the hours. You get lots of cash for college. But let's say you don't need it. Let's say you don't need it. Let's get out of there. All right. So now, find the population in New York City in 1800, the year. So now, here's a function. It's in thousands. So, F of 1800 means you put in 1800 for the X and right there. It prints that. So, 1800 minus 1800 is zero. Zero times that is zero, order operations. And zero plus 79 is 79. So, F of 1800 is 79 for the function. So now, 1800, what do you get? 79 thousands, or rewrite it. 1800 is what? 79,000, got it? You can use a graphing calculator here, or let me just show you a little bit. If you need to add stuff, you don't know how to do this, you can say zero plus 79, right here, see this right here? Enter, and you get 79. Or if you want to, you can use the graphing calculator right here. Put all that at one time in a little blue box, you'll get the answer. But anyway, and also after you do this, remember sharks sleep at night, so you can go sleep, go swim in there, don't worry about it, they won't bite you. All right, next one. Find population in New York City in 1910. Uh, so we'll put a function, F of 1910, put it in there, 1910, parentheses, minus that. That's gonna give you 110, 110 times this first. Use the calculator if you want to. It's gonna give you 4688.2 plus 79. It's gonna be 4767.2 thousands. You need so 1910 is this in thousands, or let's change it. 1910, what happened? You have 4,767,200 population. Remember, sharks eat only in the day and the night. All right. Find the population of New York City in 2022. Oh. So now, again, thousands. F of 2022, the function. Put it in there. So 2022 minus that means 222 years since then. Multiply this times this, you're going to get this number, 9461.64, plus the 79 is this number here, 9546.64. Thousands. Switch it. Let's change it. Okay. Put it over. That's the most over. So that's going to be in the year 2022 in New York City, it was 9,540,640 is the population. Okay. Oh, find the population in the United States in 1800. All right. So here's a formula. It's a linear function. Yes, of course. So F of 1800, put it in there. 1800 minus 1800 is zero. Zero times that is zero plus 4.3. And this is in millions, millions, millions. So in 1800, F of 1800 is 4.3 million. Or 1800 is 4.3 million. Or rewrite it, 1800 a year, there's 4,300,000 population in the United States. Okay? Remember, charge just want to play in this scene with you. All right, find the population in the United States in 1910. All right, so F of 1910, the function again, this is in millions. So put it in there, 1910 minus 1800 is going to give you what? 110 times 0.80. Ah, that's going to give you 88 plus 4.3 is 92.3. That's in millions. That's in millions. So 1910 is 92.3 millions. Population of the United States, 1910. So 1910, population is what? 92,300,000. Okay. Remember, sharks always eat alone. They never, there's nobody with them. Okay, you can use graph and calculate if you want to. Find the population of the United States in 2022 using this linear function right here. We're going to find F of 2022. Put it in there. 2022 minus 1910. It's going to give you 112 times this number. It's going to give you 248.8 plus this. And remember, this is millions. That's going to give you 333.1. Or in the year 2022, there's 33. Point one millions, or in the year 2022, the United States population is 333 million 100,000. Okay, you just graph calculator if you want to. Uh, find the minimum wage in Texas in 1938. If you work one hour, how much do you get? So, after 1938, put in the formula right here 1938 minus 1938, that's going to give you zero. Zero times that is zero plus 0.25, so that's going to give you. 0.25. So in 1938, the minimum wage per hour in Texas was 25 cents per hour. Every hour, you get 25 cents. All right, let's move ahead a little bit. Find a minimum wage 
Port Hour in Texas in 1997. Ah, half of 1997. Put it in there. 1997 minus 1938. That's going to give you 59 times this number. is going to be 5.1625 plus this. It's going to be 5.4125. There's a minimum wage right there. So in 1997, you made 540, 41. You round it if you want. Okay, let's move ahead a little bit. Oh, in 2008. Ah, oh, it should be more money now. What is the minimum? What is the minimum wage per hour in Texas in 2008? So in 2008, put it in there. So track those two numbers. 70 years have gone by since 1938. Now, multiply these two numbers. You're going to get 6.125 plus 25. It's going to give you 6.375. Or in 2008, it's going to be 6.375. Minimum wage. Ah, find the minimum wage per hour in Texas in 2018. 2018. Put it in the formula again. 2018 minus 1938. It's going to give you 80. 80 times this is 7 plus 0.25. So we add those together, we're going to get 7.25. So in 2018, if you work one hour, you'll get $7.25 minimum wage per hour in Texas in 2018. All right. Find the minimum wage per hour in Texas in the year 1800. Okay. Put 1800 to the formula. So 1800 minus 1800 is 0. 0 times that is 0. So 0 plus 0 0.01 is 0 0.01. So in 1800, you got one cent, one penny every hour you worked. Okay, it's not bad. 1800, you got one penny. 1800, you got one cent. Remember, sharks eat anything they want. Find a minimum wage per hour in Texas in 1840. Oh, 40 years ahead. 1840 should be more. So put it in there. 1840 minus 1800 is going to give you 40. 40 times that is. 0 0.01 and 0 0.01. So in 1840, minimum wage per hour in Texas was two cents. Or in 1840, what did you get? One hour of work, you got two cents. Sharks say, hey, hey, let's begin to see. Find a year that minimum wage per hour in Texas was 25 cents. Okay, so if I know it's 25 cents, what year is this? So put it in this formula, this new formula here. So 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 right there is going to give you zero. Zero divided by this is zero. 1938, bring it down, and that plus that is 1938. So in 25 cents per hour, minimum wage, that's what you got, You were that was in 1938. Okay. Find a year the minimum wage per hour in Texas was $7.25. All right. Put it in the formula. There's a formula. 7.25 minus 25. 7.25 minus 25 is 7. 0 0.00 divided by this is going to be 80. 80 plus 1938 is going to give you 2018. So... If you got seven dollars twenty-five cents per hour minimum wage per hour, you're in the year what? Two thousand eight. So seven dollars twenty-five cents when? In the year two thousand eighteen. Ah, find the amount that you will make in one day, one day of work at minimum wage per hour of seven twenty-five in Texas. Okay, one day, that means eight hours of work. That's what that means. So f of x is eight x, eight hours. But you're getting how much? 725, so 725 times this, again, you can just calculate if you want to, it's 58. So $7.25 per hour in one day, you're gonna make $58. That's pretty good, huh? Uh, find the tuition and fees for 12 hours of Paul to college. All right, so they're gonna charge you tuition and the fees. So F of 12 means 12 times that is 1,200 plus the fees, and 1,200 plus this is gonna give you 1,600. So 12 hours of Paul to college is gonna cost you how much? $1,600. All right. Find tuition and fees for 12 hours at a state university. Ah, they've been more expensive. It's not a community college, but that's okay. F of 12 is 12 times 500. F, the function F of 12. So that's going to be 6,000. Okay. Plus 2,000 is going to give you 8,000. So 12 hours at a state university is going to cost you what? 8,000. Okay. Not bad. All right, find the tuition and fees for 12 hours at a private university. Private, huh? Okay, 12 hours, so it's a little bit more expensive. 12 times 3,000 is 36,000 plus the fees. So that's gonna be this and this together is gonna give you what? 44,000, so F of 12 is gonna be 44,000. So 12 hours is gonna cost you how much? $44,000, okay? And Sharks just wants you to join him for lunch. Not bad. Find the amount. You will pay for four years at a private university. So let's say you go four years at a private university. Remember, good news, your four best friends will be at the private university with you. 
So every year, there's a month, 90,000. You're gonna go how many years? Four years. So four times 90,000 is 360,000. For four years at a private university, you're gonna spend $360,000. Not bad, huh? Remember, great boss, great food, great work. You get some money from here to pay for this. And my margin is open. Make some cafe, open 24 hours. Find the amount you will make in one week at minimum wage per hour at 725 in Texas. One week? Oh, man, that means week is eight times five, eight hours times five days is 40 hours. So 40 hours, how much money are you gonna make there? So 725 times 40, so in $7.25, what are you gonna make in one week? $290, so you're gonna make at 7.25 minimum wage in Texas per hour, you're gonna make $290, okay? That's pretty good. Oh, well that's the end of that part, part one. Star, Algebra 1, 2024. See what else? After that, go celebrate. Must thing I need to study for the Star Algebra 1. Hey, or get your support out You got lots of money, go to Hawaii, have fun out there. Okay, there you go, all your Hawaiian stuff on. Or, oh, Math Monsters. Nah, they don't scare us. We know how to do some Algebra 1. Not scary at all. Math is fun. Oh, yeah, these guys are stupid and scary. One, two, three, four, eight, seven. Yeah. How about these guys? Oh, seven more. Uh, they're, still, they're still scary. Exponential growth, guys, huh? How about, uh, let's see. Seven, seven hiding right there. What's scarier than those seven? Holy cow. A giant crunchy one. That's kind of scary. How about two more crunchy two, crunchy threes? Yeah, that's kind of scary. Yeah, a little bit. But Algebra 1 was more scary, but now we know how to do it, so don't worry about it. All right, good luck, good luck. This is Professor Phil Galvez Jr. saying good luck. Professor Phil Galvez Jr. saying good luck, good luck in your Algebra 1, 1800-2024, Part 1. Bye.